is taking flight. AIFA is already ploughing back into the community with 60 local employees and an economic injection for the town. That flight school brings a lot of opportunities and uh, they stay in our town. Um, firstly, the local economy are boosted by those people actually buy from our local stores and stay with our people. Um, secondly, they are <clears throat> there's transport opportunities. They've been transported from Beaufort West uh, to the airport because it's a few kilometers out of town. The former gravel landing strip is now tarred, easing the effectiveness of emergency services in the area. We had a fire about two weeks ago uh, on the farms in, in the Karoo National Park. We brought in the bombers uh, to fight the fire as well as a helicopter, as well as a spotter plane, and uh, these planes could land easily at the airport. The George and Otsuran bases each train 80 cadets a year. Beaufort West will become the biggest centre of operations by training 200 cadets annually. The area is also more suitable for young students learning to fly. Right, in George sometimes the air space is more complicated because we've got scheduled traffic coming in. So now the pilots need to listen to the ATC and follow the clearance very carefully. And in Beaufort West the air space is more free. Each of the students might have their own sectors, so then they don't need to worry about the traffic separations in Beaufort West. Expansion is on the cards. A hostel will be built at the airport, as well as a number of other developments. We get more and more inquiries from individuals that want to come up, put up hangars. Uh, our further expansion from, from Dreamworld investment site as the owners of the airport is to set up a terminal building for tourism and to really make it uh, the hub of the central Karua, which I think is what uh, is desperately needed there. The base is not only an economic injection for the town, but has also created a more positive spirit for the future amongst residents and businesses. Tanya Krauser, SABC News, Beaufort West.